Now, while this was the first compressibility correction developed, it's not the last, and some improved compressibility compressions have been developed. The key limitation of the parental glower rule is that it relies on the linearized potential and so is limited to those thin airfoils at small angles of attack. Other rules have been devised which attempt to take into account some of the nonlinearities of compressible flow. Deriving these is far beyond the scope of this course and even of what's in your textbook, but I'll just give the results. There are two. There's the Carmen Sien rule, where CP is CP naught over square root of 1 minus m infinity squared plus m infinity squared divided by 1 plus the square root of 1 minus m infinity squared. all times CP0 over 2. And there's also Leighton's rule, which gives CP equal to CP0 over the square root of 1 minus m infinity squared plus m infinity squared times 1 plus gamma minus 1 over 2 m infinity squared times 1 half times the square root of 1 minus m infinity squared all times CP naught. Sorry, this should be a parenthesis rather than a bracket. So the rules are similar um, in that they both have a corrective term in the denominator um, which depend both on CP and on M infinity, but the details of that term are different between the two corrections. So what happens in reality is that the parental glowett rule tends to underpredict the pressure coefficient um, because it's based on linear theory. While the Carmancien and Leighton rules account for some of those nonlinear aspects, and the real values of CP tend to fall somewhere between these two corrections. So averaging both of these and using the result is actually not a bad idea. To give you an idea of where these are used, in the software we use in this course, in XFOIL, the Carmancien correction is used. And in AVL, the parental glower rule is used. Why should these be different? Well, there's a good reason for it. As we'll see soon when we start talking about the effects of wing sweep, the effective Mach number seen by a wing that swept is much smaller, and so Swept aircraft configurations can have reasonable results using the parental glower rule, where as XFOIL being a two-dimensional code, if we want to be able to go to reasonably high Mach numbers, we need a nonlinear correction, and so Carmen Sen is used.